I knew you'd click on this one. <laughs> you guys are so predictable, man. Elizabeth is a middle-aged woman who works as a teacher at a junior high school. Due to her line of work, one would assume that she is very responsible and caring, but it is the exact opposite. Elizabeth is actually a careless and rude woman who curses at the students and makes them watch movies in class. Most of the time, she is under the influence of either alcohol or narcotics. Elizabeth only has one aim in her life, to marry a rich guy and suck all of his wealth. In short, she is a gold digger. Currently, Elizabeth is dating the son of an extremely wealthy businessman, and things are looking good for her. So, one day, she arrogantly quits her job at the school, as she no longer requires employment. However, when she arrives home, she discovers her boyfriend and his mother waiting for her. In a shocking turn of events, the guy says that he doesn't want to marry her anymore. He has finally realized that Elizabeth only cares about his money and nothing else. All these months, she has stolen money from his wallet, his office, and even his mom's room to buy expensive stuff for herself. Elizabeth tries to explain that this is not the case, but he doesn't listen and angrily leaves. This leaves Elizabeth in a tricky situation. Not only has her dream of becoming rich shattered, but she is also jobless now. Elizabeth tries looking for jobs for a few months, but because she doesn't have much talent, no one hires her. At last, she swallows her pride and rejoins her old employer, the junior high school. On her first day, she bumps into her old nemesis, Amy Squirrel, and the two exchange some insulting words with each other. It is evident that both of them hate one another with a passion. After this, Elizabeth heads to her class, where the students are delighted to see her back. However, she could care less. She doesn't even teach them, and instead starts having her breakfast there. When the students start requesting for a new lesson, she turns on the television and makes them watch Stand and Deliver. Oh, the mystery recapped version, saying that it will help improve their grades. After this, she covers her face with her jacket and falls asleep in the class. During the lunch break, Elizabeth reconciles with her only friend in the school, Lynn, who is also a fellow teacher. The two chat about their lives, and Elizabeth reveals that she is planning to undergo breast enhancement surgery so that she can become more beautiful and attract rich guys, aka sociopaths. Meanwhile, we are introduced to the gym teacher of the school, Russell. Ever since the get-go, he has had a huge crush on Elizabeth but she never entertains him. This is because he lacks the only quality she looks for in men, being rich. One day, a handsome guy named Scott joins the school as a substitute teacher, and when Elizabeth learns that he is wealthy, she immediately starts circling him. At an opportune moment, she bumps into him and introduces herself. She then cleverly makes him reveal his relationship status, which turns out to be single. Scott opens up that he recently broke up with his girlfriend and even goes on to show a picture of her. When Elizabeth sees it, she becomes jealous as the girl has a large chest. She also assumes that Scott only prefers those kinds of women, so she makes it her aim to undergrow breast enhancement surgery. In the next scene, Elizabeth heads to a clinic and prepares to fill out the form for the surgery, but when she learns that the procedure will cost her a whopping $9,000, she immediately stops. Elizabeth doesn't even have $50 in her account, so she she will have to wait for the time being. That night, she calls all her friends and acquaintances, hoping that she can get some donation for the surgery. However, since all of them know her true nature, they simply hang up on her. Elizabeth then reverts to her ex-boyfriend and demands that he pay her $9,000 as compensation for, for breaking off their marriage. <laughs> but even he refuses and disconnects the call, much to her frustration. The next morning in class, as Elizabeth is passing the time as usual, one of the students approaches her and inquires if she would like to have her car washed. She further explains that the entire class will be participating in the annual car wash event, which will be a lot of fun. Elizabeth doesn't even listen to her words, but when the student reveals that they earned $6,000 last year, she becomes startled. Okay, wash my car, children, and buy me some tits. Elizabeth then inquires which teacher is leading them to the event, and to her dismay, she learns that it is none other than her nemesis, Amy. Despite the setback, Elizabeth is unwilling to pass up on such a golden opportunity, so she heads to the principal's office and starts seducing him with her looks. Once he becomes aroused, she requests that he make her in charge of the car wash event instead of Amy. To her delight, he agrees without even thinking twice. The following morning, Elizabeth heads to the event in the most revealing dress that she can find. She then begins washing the car as well, also splashing a lot of water on her body. This shocks all the women around, but the men are happy at what they see. Even a policeman gets captivated by her beauty, so much that he crashes his car into another. Elizabeth then demands extra money from the men, claiming that her school is in dire need of extra funds for the students. Surprisingly, the plan works, as by the end of the day, she is able to make around $10,000. Elizabeth gives half of it to the school and secretly keeps the other half 
for herself. Meanwhile, Amy catches wind of this and angrily goes to the principal. The latter is relieving himself in the toilet, so he is expectedly enraged at the sudden intrusion into his privacy. Amy claims that Elizabeth is stealing from the school funds and demands that she be punished. However, the principal says that he can do nothing until solid evidence is found against her. The next day at school is the annual parent-teacher meeting. As expected, many parents have lined up in Elizabeth's class, as all of them are angry with how their children are being taught. They confront Elizabeth and demand an explanation as to why she never teaches lessons and always plays movies in the class. Also, what gives? Why are you so damn sexy? <coughs> Roger! In response, she simply says, don't teach me how to do my work. After a while, when the meeting ends, a concerned father approaches Elizabeth and secretly hands her $200, requesting that she give his son extra attention. This gives our cunning protagonist yet another idea. She meets with all the parents one by one and takes money from them, promising that she will give their children personal attention. Now, Elizabeth is only $2,000 short of her breast enhancement surgery. Let's go! As the days pass, she continues being irresponsible and totally neglects her students. Elizabeth also rejects the gym instructor Russell's advances. However, she does form a friendship with him. On the other hand, Amy has also started making a move on the wealthy and handsome Scott. The two have become close and are always together, making Elizabeth extremely jealous. One day, she learns from her best friend Lynn that the school is going to host a competition for the teachers. Whosoever makes their students get the best grades in the upcoming state test will win a cash prize of $5,000. Sounds like some new tips to me! Hearing this, Elizabeth becomes ecstatic, and she decides to finally start teaching her students. So, from the very next day, she comes early to class and makes everyone open their books, shocking them. Elizabeth also makes sure to give them homework and daily assignments. She doesn't even let them talk to each other in class. This goes on for a few days, and the students greatly improve. However, it is still not enough to pass the upcoming state test, which is only a few days away. Elizabeth, who is desperate to win the $5,000 cash prize, decides to take matters into her own hands. That night, she dresses seductively and approaches a state professor named Carl, who is in charge of preparing and distributing test questions. The plan works, and the man immediately gets aroused and takes her to his place. When he heads to his bedroom to prepare, Elizabeth spikes his drink with sleeping pills, which Carl later consumes and gets knocked out. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Elizabeth steals the questions from him and gives them to her students. The following week, the test results come out, and all her students pass with exemplary grades, hence making her victorious. Elizabeth wins the $5,000 cash prize, and with this, she finally has enough money to undergo the surgery. We'll see how much good the new boobies do her when she's in jail. So, without wasting any time, she heads to the clinic and books an appointment. However, the next day, she gets dejected to learn that Scott has now started dating Amy. They appear to be deeply in love with each other. Elizabeth is enraged that her plans are once again being foiled by her nemesis, but she is still unwilling to give up. The following week, the school is taking all the students on a tour, and the ones in charge will be Scott and Amy. When Elizabeth learns of this, she comes up with a cunning plan. She injects an apple with some chemical and leaves it on Amy's desk, knowing that she is immensely fond of the fruit. As expected, Amy takes a bite out of the apple without even inquiring where it came from. By the evening, her face is covered with rashes and allergies. Fearing that she might spread it to the students, the principal appoints Elizabeth to replace her in the tour. In the next scene, Elizabeth takes full advantage of the opportunity and becomes close with Scott. That night, they they even have intercourse in secret. Elsewhere, an envious Amy starts looking for clues to expel Elizabeth from the school. She goes to her class and tries scanning through her desk, but most of the drawers are locked. Hence, Amy switches her desk with Elizabeth's and then makes a janitor break open the drawer. To her delight, she discovers the question papers that Elizabeth had stolen from Carl. Following this, Amy heads to the principal's room and tells him everything about how Elizabeth cheated to help her students get good grades. This time, the principal believes her, but he also says that he can only fire Elizabeth if Carl confesses to the story. So, the same day, Amy confronts Carl in his office and blackmails him into confessing everything. She warns him that if he doesn't, she will expose all of his wrongdoings in public. Reluctantly, the poor guy agrees. Elsewhere on the tour, Elizabeth is having a great time with the students. She even helps one of the bullied boys become popular by supplying him with her undergarments. Wow, she's, she's going to jail. When Russell sees this, he becomes greatly impressed. He commends Elizabeth on her generosity and 
and in response, she compliments his honesty and good looks. Their romantic conversation is rudely interrupted, though, when Amy arrives at the scene and taunts Elizabeth that she is going to be arrested soon. Hearing this, our protagonist realizes that the stolen test papers have been found, so she comes up with a plan of her own. As soon as she heads home, she pays her roommate and orders him to deliver a package to Earl. When the latter receives the package and opens it, he finds several nude pictures of him, which Elizabeth had apparently taken when he was knocked out. Dude, she's going to, she's, she's going to jail. Now she asks him to make a false confession, and in return, she will keep his photos a secret. This puts Carl in a very tough situation, as both the ladies are blackmailing him with their demands. But after a lot of consideration, he sides with Elizabeth and lies that he has never even met her. Then Elizabeth herself steps forward and claims that someone in the school had been using narcotics in class. Here, it is revealed that she has already discovered that Amy had switched desks in her absence, while the lowermost drawer contains the test papers. The uppermost one contains narcotics. This drawer is still closed, and Amy has no idea what's inside of it. Because of Elizabeth's claims, several cops storm the school and start searching through all the desks. When it's Amy's turn, the narcotics are found, and she is immediately taken into custody. This finally brings an end to the war between the two ladies. In the final scene, Scott approaches Elizabeth and asks her out on a date, expressing that he likes her. But surprisingly, she turns him down. Elizabeth says that she already has someone in her life who is smart, caring, and handsome. She then turns to Russell and kisses him passionately, hence starting their relationship. Elizabeth also cancels her breast enlargement surgery as she is no longer interested in attracting rich guys. The movie ends as Elizabeth promises to be a serious teacher and help all her students achieve excellent academic grades from now on. But she's still a bad person, and I still think she should go to jail. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.